mother went for a long time and then the hag ashed and there was nine emus and father was waiting with the kids. Wait and see, my grandfather said, wait and see what the father can do. And when mother came back, and mother was really happy to see the little ones. And mother took the little ones for a walk and father went for a walk. And father never came back. Somebody have to spare him. And mother was waiting, waiting. Mother was thinking, hey, if something happened to father, because he's not coming back. And then they went other direction. Mother and the nine emus, they went away to another country. And we was crying. <laughs> When we was crying, you should have, Grandma, you should have gone and catch them little ones so we can take it back. You can't. Mother wants little ones to be there with, the, with her. And we was crying all the way home for that email. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I was thinking, because I knew do the story about Emu. How old do you think you were? I was just um, ten years old and my other cousins was little one, another one was my cousin big one. Did, wait, did you have a car or were you just No, walking? we was walking. There was no car, anything, nothing. No car to go. We was walking from Mission to the bush, and then we walked home again. And then after me and my other cousins came with old ladies for a rabbit hunting, and then they saw, my grandmother saw the footprints. And uh, she sang out to us, come, come and have a look. You see this footprint here? They just went, all of them went in. They didn't come out. They have to look around for the footprint where they went, but nothing, they all in. And then my grandmother said, you, Go round and see the hole for the, you know, air. And then, what do you call it? Dig that, dig that hole and make it full of sand. And sit there, she told me sit there. If I dig this one, they might go in the other round and just popped out from that hole. And I was there. And then my grandmother dig, dig, dig. Put a stick, long stick in <coughs> to see the hair. And then he pulled that stick and he showed me, you see this one, the hair, they all there. And there was little ones. First, he got the little ones. Twelve little ones, that was. And he showed show me, pssst. she was doing like that, pssst. And I look, no, no, I was, I ran and got that little one and put, <laughs> put it here. <laughs> I had two little ones, and then I got 
biggest mob of rabbit, lots of them, nearly 23. And then we took it back to our, um, what do you call that? We call that one tinder camp, like a picnic thing. And fire was ready, all the other ones was cooking, I mean, burning fires, doing fires. That was ready. And then, sit down, you kids. All the grandmother was sitting, and we were sitting, and they showed us. You got to clean that air from the tummy, clean it, and cut it. There was no knife, only the stick. Cut it, make it open, and get all the stuff from inside. Put it there, and sew it back again with stick. Ready to put it on the fire, to the hair to burn. And then we was burning them, cleaning it, and put it there, ready. And. Then my grandmother was counting them little ones. There was 12 little ones. There's only 10. Where's the other two? And uh, she asked me, where's the other two? Somewhere. I said, somewhere. Now I gave it to you. Now I got nothing. And grandmother said, what is that? <laughs> and I pulled it out, Nana, please leave it. No, 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 it's not good to, you know, to, you to keep it. It's our meat. And I start crying, crying. And then she killed that two other one. And he didn't, she didn't uh, do his cuts was a little one. Just uh, put it on the fire and burn it. And then uh, when, when we were sitting, and I was sitting towards that way, north, I was sitting down like sulky. I was sulky about that two little rabbit. And I saw, hey, Something moving there. Nana! Something moving there, I can see it from here. Where? My Nana got up and saw. It's there behind that, you know, beyond that bushes there. And there was a lot of stockmen coming this way. And she saw, hey, there's a man. I'd be riding horse. And there was my uncles coming, looking for mother. And, uh, and I saw, hey, that's Uncle Mop, they coming. And mother said, yeah, they're following us for the meat. And they came and uh, put all the horses under the tree and came. And my grandmother said, why did you follow us? Now we're hungry for meat. Well, there was lot, lots of cooked meat there, rabbit. And they got one each. One each, you know. Um, and they asked for a pip and salt, onion, and we had in a bag. We had biggest of onion, pip and salt, and they had a big feed. The rabbit, uh, the rabbit meat is really good. That's why I always, nowadays, I always talk about rabbit. Hey, we should go bush just for look for rabbit. And another favorite of mine is um, echidna. We found echidna too. 